new entrant teacher and I'm also a parent of a child with special needs. So this is my child here, Tia Huya, and she has cerebral palsy and she has been coming to the centre here for well, over a year. And we are just so grateful that we can bring her to a place that has such qualified, dedicated, um, experienced staff that are so, that just absolutely love our child. And that's what we want for all of our children is that we have centres that have qualified people, the right hands looking after our little people. And um, in terms of this, education cut to, to early childhood education. In terms of the 80% benchmark of qualified teachers, we just as parents have this great reservation that we we are putting our children in these people's hands and we want them to be qualified hands. We want them to be experienced hands and we want to know that they are the best people looking after our children while we go and work and help our economy. Um, as some of the signs say, cuts in early childhood never heal, they don't. As Robin said, from early childhood and they start school with new entrants, my teacher's kid now, we know that they'll, they struggle the whole way through education. They're always trying to catch up. There's nothing uh, more important than having the right qualified people teaching them from, from this age upwards. And so I stand here just to support Florin and Penny and all the teachers here to say that we want 100% qualified teachers funded by the government. We don't want to have to have cuts to the other areas and we don't want that pressure put on our teachers when they should be thinking about our children's need, needs most, not trying to fit into restrictions that the government has put on, put on them in terms of budget. Um, in terms of the special needs group, again, that's something really, we really um, want to encourage people with children with special needs to bring these children to centres that can include their children, where their children don't feel excluded. And this is a centre where my child has been made a part of the family, and that's because the qualified staff know exactly how to help her, and know exactly how to help us as a family. And I stand here... Just with those, those things in mind, just to share with you who take our message to the government to um, continue doing that, Kia paha. please take our plea. We want this to happen. We want more people like Florin and Penny, Ariana, all the kaiapul here, we want more of them in, in our early childhood centres. And that's all that.